Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Beyond, and this is the Build-A-Figure version uh, that's got this um, sort of Joker bot uh, Batman, and he's got these two, uh, you know, sort of futuristic looking batarangs. There will be in the future a solo non-Build-A-Fig version of Batman Beyond with a different head and some different accessories, so you might... Uh, compare and contrast, you know, before you pull the trigger on, uh, whichever one you're looking for, um, cause there will be some differences on the back, uh, the diagram of the Build-A-Fig, which is, as you can see, going to be spread out, um, across with several, a couple months in between each one, um, instead of all coming out as one wave, um, and the, the pick on the back is, uh, the figure fighting me fully assembled. Build-A-Fig, There's that info if you need it. And uh, let's get right into it. So I grew up on Batman the Animated Series and had kind of aged out of it by the time Batman Beyond came out. Um, but I always, I kind of just had the feeling like I, if I was born a couple years later, I would have been like, oh, Batman Beyond is way, way better uh, you know, than Batman the Animated Series. So here you can see him. Just the design of the character in general, he's got a much simpler, um, you know, less sort of detail kind of character design. Um, although I do, I, I kind of think this, um, this sculpt here maybe kind of favors the comic book version a little bit more. Just with the way there's, um, I've got a little bit more detail on his gauntlets kind of. But I'm not, I'm not certain, I'm not certain, I'm not for sure, I'm not certain, I'm not the expert on on Batman Beyond too much. I'm just trying to move him around a little bit. It's getting a little stiff, kind of, in some spots. Uh, these, um, his sort of wing, glider wings thing here, these are kind of, uh, they're pliable, but they're stiffer than like the capes they've been doing. Um, which I think is kind of nice that they've, they've got a little bit of give to them. Uh, you can see he's got pegs here on his, on the bottom of his gauntlets that are meant to, to poke into here. Mine's got, a, it looks like they missed some paint there. That's actually pretty terrible. So that's, uh, you can see the plastic under there. That's kind of sad. Um, another thing is you can see the... The chest here has a tiny bit, and maybe it's just the paint, but it reminds me a little bit of this, the way that um, Murder Machine almost had like a fine grit to him, and it wasn't polished perfectly smooth. That is what this feels like here, but almost exclusively on the the chest here it's a really look good looking character the you know he's got these skinnier arms that have a bit more range of motion in the shoulders which actually look really cool when you start moving around this guy is this guy's actually really fun maybe more fun to play with than i even anticipated and i haven't even started kind of going in on him yeah, just like every way you move him, he looks really cool. Here's something I always look for. Does he have a decent amount of rotation? And he does, so. See, when they have a little bit of, when they have the rotation in there, To me, I think it works better than a thigh cut. Not works better, but it looks better than just having an ugly thigh cut. Because anytime you rotate the, the thigh when, on a thigh cut, it just breaks up the musculature or the sculpt, so it's never actually that great of a solution. He's got these big honking feet um, and unfortunately, very big ball joints, which, you know, the sculpt just doesn't hide those. It, uh, maybe if they had smaller ones. 
pointed toes. He's got a nice little bit of future futuristic texture on the bottom of his feet. Um, and the other version of this is going to come with the little rocket jets out the bottom. So that paint miss is really annoying. Jeez. So these wings are permanently on there. I think you would have to break the figure to, to get those off the way that they're sandwiched on there and pressed in. So you attach his wings to this and, and theoretically they move with, with however you got them posed. That's really nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, this guy just looks really striking and cool any way you hold him, any way you look at him. And he's just going to look really neat compared to... He's going to look really neat next to all the other characters from this line if you've got him up like this. Let's look at the accessories. So he comes with two extra hands and they're basically gun hands. And he comes with these cool, you know, futuristic looking battering things. Although the, you know, I, I, I know I said, Oop. and I know I said that they're gun hands, but they do fit. They hold those things pretty well. Um, do his normal sort of talon hands hold these as well. They do, but actually, yeah, the gun hands, are gonna hold those a lot better. See here he is, I've swapped out the one of those hands and he holds that really well. Yeah, I mean this is a this is a really cool looking figure in person. Uh, just a really striking silhouette. The paint job is very simple but 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 stands out in a really cool way. And I mean, if you're a Batman Beyond fan, I, I don't know how you would not uh, be wanting to get this. Uh, so he does come with the hockey puck um, disc stand. I think he should have had a flight stand just because, you know, of the prominent flying component of Batman Beyond. And I, normally I'd wait to do the build a fig until uh, I had it all assembled. But since it's going to be a little bit of time before that comes out. Um, we'll just take a look at him. This piece now, this torso for the Joker bot guy. Um, his uh, his his butterfly things we just want to fall out without having the arms in there to hold them in. Um, but you can see the rotating head to a Joker bot. That's a really nice looking paint job on that Joker head. Wow, really nice. Good sculpt on this. Um, really cool. And, and this is where you can see that this is based more on a comic book because this just doesn't match the style of the Batman Beyond cartoon at all. I don't think with, with the way that detail is done in there. Um, and, you know, he's got some robot looking. I'll, I'll do a, a dedicated Joker bot uh, or whatever Future's End, whatever this character is, once I have it all assembled. I think we've had a good look at this. It's a really cool figure, and even I'm not a, a Batman Beyond um, mega fan or anything like that. And I think it's really cool. I'm, I'm pretty stoked on this guy. It's going to be fun to play with. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to leave it at that guys. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.